Welcome and thank you for taking a few minutes to see just how simple it is to file your W-2s using the Atrix eFile solution. Atrix would be accessed from your host software either through the federal reporting menus or directly from a W-2 link. Once the federal report screen is shown, simply select W-2s and click display. This will launch the W-2 setup. We start by asking a few questions just to make sure we put your data in the right place. The first option you have is to test drive the software. If you're just getting started or this is the first time you've used the Atrix solution, you may test drive it with the first 25 employees you have or with all of your employees. You do this at no risk of accidentally filing something or making a mistake. If you're ready to go, simply click the no thanks start the process. We're going to verify your EIN. This is just to make certain we're filing for the correct company. We're then going to ask you if you have more than one payroll database. This is useful for companies that have more than one site and are paying payroll through different databases. If you do so, click yes and you'll do each one separately and they will merge at the end of the process. The federal government wants to know whether you're filing for your own company or whether you're a third-party preparer. If you're a third-party preparer, you will have a couple other questions to answer. We're going to verify your tax ID numbers. This is simply to make sure that the state filings are accurate and delivered in the correct manner. We're going to ask you a few questions. Do you have any employees that are exempt of Medicare or Social Security taxes? Do you have any members of the clergy? Uh, you can assign your own control numbers, so you can have that option if you'd like. And do you have any employees who have elected to receive W-2s electronically? The W-3 information simply determines what type of filer you are. In most cases, you would be a 941 filer. This is also the opportunity to tell us whether you have third-party sick pay or whether your business was terminated or if you wish to assign establishment numbers or if you have used a different EIN during the course of the year. Once you've completed and answered all of those questions, your data will then be displayed in what we call our grid. Uh, everyone else in the world calls it a spreadsheet. It's a spreadsheet. You'll go through and verify the data to make certain that everything is correct. The first thing you're going to check is the employee information. This will give you an opportunity to change a name. If someone had gotten married and you forgot to change a name within your payroll data, you'd have the opportunity to do that then. Uh, if you have any other address changes or items that need addressed, this is where you'll make those changes. Be aware that making a change here does not translate back to your host software, so you'll have to do it there as well. Next, we're going to look at additional information. This is where you would verify your third-party sick pay, but also be where you would verify if someone had uh, elected to receive their W-2 electronically. This is the federal information, so this is your federal wages, withholding, Social Security, Medicare wages. You'll notice that there are totals at the top of the page. So if you have run your numbers on your own software and you want to verify them, you don't have to scroll through all your employees down to the bottom of the page. They are displayed at the top so you can do a quick check. We're then going to look at state information. During this entire process, we are always checking and verifying limits, rates, and making certain that in this case, if you have wages for a state, that you also have withholdings. This is all other data. This would be all of the other additional things that you may have uh, for withholding, for example, union deductions, things of that. And after verifying the data, you have the opportunity to select the level of service. The complete W-2 e-filing service is by far the best practice. It allows you to have all your employee W-2s printed and mailed. They'll also be hosted online so people can access them if there are lost copies. We'll also provide the information you need to retrieve the EW-2s for those that have chosen to receive electronic only. File the Feds, W-2s, W-3s. We'll file all your state W-2s and reconciliation forms, all for one low price. You have the opportunity to select to have a PDF archive delivered to you on a flash drive so you can hold it off premises or you lock it in a safe or simply have it available to you at your convenience. This is the list of states for which you are filing. I'm going to remove some of these so that we don't have to look at all of these forms. 
we'll just do Alabama. This is going to be the list of things that we are going to do for you. So we're going to file the federal W-2s and W-3s, the Alabama W-2 and A-3 report. We're going to print and mail your employee copies, and you will have the opportunity to print employer copies if you choose to. You can print this list and hold it, just so you know exactly what Atrix will be processing. Once you've completed those few questions, you now have the opportunity to review all of the forms. First are the employer W-2s. You can scroll through these. You can see that each one is available for you to review. Next are the Federal W-2. You'll notice that these are two up. The Federal W-3 is displayed. Again, one more chance to check those totals. The Alabama State W-2s. This is the Alabama A-3 report. You'll notice that this is still editable. The blue fields are all editable. This is because you have not yet seen this data. It's your opportunity to verify it before it is finished. Once you have finished reviewing all of your forms, you'll then be connected to the Atrix eFile Center. You'll use the same username and password that you used when you enrolled at eFile.atrix.com. The first screen is just a verification of your enrollment information. You'll have the opportunity to provide your employees with the option to have H&R Block, Intuit, or Tax Act have access directly to their W-2s while they're in that preparer software. Simply click yes, there is no fee. You'll be provided the pricing information, in this case the total filing, $71.74. You can choose your submission dates. You'll have the opportunity to decide when you want these delivered. If you do not select a date, the W-2s will be mailed the next business day. We will ask for credit card information in order to process the fee. If you have chosen to receive the archive flash drive, we'll need to make sure we have the correct address. This confirmation simply reviews that you're filing with Atrix. It's a W-2 filing that your company EIN is as listed and the price. Once the filing is submitted, you'll receive an AFID number. It's important that you keep this number. Uh, it is available on efile.atrix.com in the filing history, but you'll need that if you have any questions or if you call our support department. That's how easy it is to file your W-2s using the Atrix W-2 eFile solution.